Trojan family, Trojan family, what's up, man? You, SCJ here. It's the top of the morning. It's the top of the morning. Listen, I hope everybody is getting ready to get up, get out, and make some things happen this morning. Listen, I'm getting ready to do something that I've never done before, and that is to not talk about football at all. Listen, it feels crazy. It feels strange. But listen, it's straight up go time. It's only popping. It's only cracking with USC women's basketball team. And I got to talk about it, man. I cannot just not talk about it. I talk about it on the side. You know, with different people, you know, the guys that I'm familiar with, we have conversations back and forth. But I think what's taking place right now with this USC women's basketball team, it is phenomenal on so many levels. And, of course, you guys already know it's a given, starting with a um, young lady by the name of Juju Watkins, man. I, I mean, I think that's what's really sparked the whole flame with this USC bas women's basketball team. Um, the question I have, and this is the question I want to pose, throughout this video can this usc women's basketball team can they make it all the way to the championship can they win it all um you guys know there's some powerful teams out there whether it's lsu um talking about with angela uh, reese and then you're talking about iowa of course they got caitlin clark but then you talk about south carolina who is extremely deep i mean their their depth is so crazy right now when i looked at the game that they played and but however LSU was giving them a run for their money. Um, and I think this man, I think USC has the best player in college basketball. Now it's gonna sound like blasphemy when I say this, given the fact that Kaylin Clark, of course, she's a, a pure shooter, she's out there, she's gunslinging it, and she's actually she's actually absolutely doing her thing. But I gotta give her credit. Um, and you know, she's passed uh Pete Pistol Pete as far as the all-time leading scorer. And so now she she holds that record. However, Juju Watkins, um, as far as being the best player overall, I'm talking about from a pure defensive standpoint and then from a pure creating standpoint. Juju Watkins gets all her teammates involved and gets everybody uh, everybody better. better. I haven't seen a player uh, from a women's standpoint that's able to penetrate to the hole, that's able to create like a Juju Watkins. And the thing about it, what happened – Yesterday, they won the Pac-12 championship. Did I fail to mention that? What happened yesterday in the Pac-12 championship, you guys know I'm recording this the night before, uh, but what happened yesterday in the Pac-12 championship, which was Sunday, um, they tried to shut her down. They tried to double-team her. They tried to triple-team her, if you will, but that opened up other spots. That opened up other places where she can go with the ball, and she was able to distribute that ball, make some assists, but Juju Watkins, we're going to talk about some of the things that she's able to do uh, because I, I think right now we're seeing something that um, USC hadn't seen in a long time. I want to talk about some of her numbers because I think right now she's putting up some phenomenal numbers um, on the basketball court. Being that she's a freshman, uh, some of the things that she, she's actually – and I'm going to read this to you. This is coming from a uh, big-time analyst, and she put these numbers out there. But it said Juju Watkins is the fourth freshman in Division I history with 800 total points. She passed Caitlin Clark, um, which has 799, and Courtney Paris, which has 788, on the freshman Division I scoring list. This is ever. So we're talking about, hey, look, she, she's already making her mark, man. Um, Juju Watkins is already uh, passing Caitlin Clark within her freshman year. And if she keeps this pace up, she's going to she's going to end up getting the scoring record herself. Um, but but I, I love what I see. And shout out to several other players. You know, it wasn't just it wasn't just Juju Watkins. There were several players that were involved with this. But this was a championship level. I want to switch this over. Let you guys take a look at this. Um, some of these uh, some of these players. Uh, she got the player of the game. Um, and, 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 you know, one thing I think about this, they're playing as a unit. It's not just the Juju Watkins show because when Juju Watkins, um, I'm not even going to say shut down, when they started trying to double team or triple team it, you seen all these different players getting involved on a whole nother level. And it was it was so it was so rewarding. It was so exciting just to see um, these players get involved like that and really not put the pressure on a, a player like Juju Watkins. And you see here, Mackenzie Forbes, she got the Pac-12 uh, tournament most outstanding player and she was absolutely balling as well, man. So I, I think, you know, this is a, a, a overall a team effort, a team effort that I think this team is now showing that 
Not only do they have Juju Watkins, of course, you know Juju Watkins scored 51 points, which is insane. Um, but you, you, you're talking about other players that now can get involved in the event that you got players that other team that are trying to double and triple team Juju Watkins. You got you got players, McKinley Forbes, McKenzie Forbes out there shooting lights out. And I think it's straight up go time, man. So you guys can drop those comments. You guys can tell me what you think. I wanted to make this all about basketball. And, and in your opinion, when is the last time we've seen somebody on this level with Juju Watkins? And, I, you know, whether it's Cheryl Miller, um, you guys, I want you guys to drop those comments. Lisa Leslie, I mean, it could go on and on and on. But where does Juju Watkins right now from a skill set level, um, I mean, where do you think she lands right now? I just seen, I just saw where she has a NIL shirt. Look, I'm about to go get that shirt, man. I'm about to order it. I saw it uh, before I got on. I'm about to order that. Look, she, she has the whole fan base. Juju Watkins right now, Juju Watkins is Caleb Williams. That's what she is right now, essentially. The impact that Caleb Williams had on our football team, Juju Watkins has that same impact on the women's basketball team. And it's taking college football, it's taking college basketball, women's college basketball right now by storm. Everybody knows about Juju Watkins right now. I'm just telling you, I'm excited about it. And I haven't been this excited about watching women's basketball. Of course, every year around the tournament, I will watch and then occasionally throughout the season. But listen, my eyes have been officially glued to the TV because of Juju Watkins and what the USC basketball team is doing, women's basketball team is doing. And crazy, oddly enough, they got more players that are, I believe, three All-Americans that are coming to join this team next year. So, listen, I, I'm already saying that they're going to win it next year for sure. But this year, I want to know, how do you guys think they compete? Um, you know what they did against UCLA. Um, you know what they did against Stanford. This team has an opportunity. I think if they play at the level that they're playing right now and Juju Watkins continue to be the scorer and the penetrator that she is and creates off the dribble and then makes the assist, this is, this is my thing. This is the key. For Juju Watkins to recognize that once those double teams come, make sure you get the ball off. Make sure you get an assist. And I can guarantee you they, that's going to keep those defenders honest once they start seeing that more and more. And you're talking about this team really, really exploding. If they continue this up in this the way they're playing right now and capitalize and build off what they did in the Pac-12 championship, I think USC has an opportunity – to really go all the way. Listen, I hope somebody knocks South Carolina off. I mean, because they're extremely deep. I'm not even going to front. But uh, but I want to know. You guys drop those comments. You guys let me know. And before I go, I got one more thing to show you real quick. Because, listen, I, I'm, I'm excited about what I saw from the men's basketball team as well. This was Bronny James. Let me come on back. This was Bronny James. Uh, the first half, uh, I tweeted this out the other night when they beat UCLA. Or excuse me, when they beat Arizona. And I'm telling you, Bronny James, absolutely. Um, I like what I saw from Bronny James during his first half. He only had five five points in the first half. But Bronny James, the defensive effort and the hustle, the rebounds um, that I see saw him get. Listen, Bronny James showed me something. And, I, I, you know, he could have actually probably been in there um, a little bit more. However, you know, they did their thing. They won the game. And uh, who knows what can happen? Can they? I'm not I'm not even about to go that far. How far do you think they can go? I'm not saying they can win the Pac-12, but how far do you think they can go? The way they blew out Arizona, beat the Arizona, that was a defensive effort that was just crazy. Can they do the same thing and continue that up? If they play clamp down defense like that, sky's the limit, man. I mean, you know, nobody knows what USC uh, men's basketball team. So shout out for the, to them. Shout out to what I saw from Bronny James. And, man, big time shout out to this young lady right here, um, Juju Watkins. I'm extremely impressed. I'm excited about her. Like I said, I'm going to go buy her shirt, man. So, listen, that's all I got for you, man. No football today. I'm just doing it just today. Um, I want to, you know, pay, pay big time tribute to the USC women's basketball team and show some love for the men's basketball team for coming in. Where was that team all year long that we saw against Arizona? I have absolutely no idea. You guys drop those comments in the comment section. You guys tell me what you think. It's USCJ32 on Instagram, USCJ32 on Twitter. Until later on, listen, everybody stay blessed. Fight on, fight on, fight on.